This pilot program, which Secretary Walker and others will discuss in a bit more detail, is designed for workers' comp cases where injured workers have settled claims but are still being treated with opioids, which an insurance company can seek to discontinue payment for. The goal is to shorten the length of time for court proceedings by assigning a care coordinator to mediate treatment options between an injured worker and the insurance company that's paying for care. This is about another tool in the toolbox to help workers who get injured on the job get the help and the care that they need while reducing their risk of opioid addiction. And the injured worker will be assigned a care coordinator who is a specialized nurse who will oversee care and treatment options to hopefully eliminate the need for opioids. A little bit about my addiction. Uh, back in 2004, I received an injury while I was a mover for a moving company. I was hit by a truck. Actually, the door swung open and knocked me about 10 feet in the air. Then I went to see a back specialist, and he prescribed me Oxycontin for approximately six weeks. I never th thought you could be addicted to pain pills. I really didn't. I, I wasn't naive by any chance, but I just didn't know until, you know, my nephew had actually said, you've got to be careful with them pills. But I was like, you know, why? You know, they're prescribed. So after spending two years in jail, you know, I'm thinking, I'm looking around, I'm in a cell, and I'm like, here I am, 52 years old, and I'm sitting in a cell. You know, what? what's up with this, Jim? So a couple of years go by, and I realize, you know, you've got a problem, Jim. You've got to do something about it. So I went to the hold and waited, waited, and waited, and finally I get the call. I said, yeah, uh, come on in. You've been accepted to the Gavin House. And I said, all right. This is July 8th, 2013, and that was the best thing that ever happened in my life. The launch of this pilot program to help workers injured on the job who become addicted to pain medication to get into treatment and back on their feet is another example of our collective commitment to resolving the opioid epidemic. The bottom line is no one should become addicted or die as a result of a workplace injury because of medication they were prescribed to help them get well. In my courtroom, I've seen dozens of people become addicted to drugs because of a work injury. And tragically, some of these people have died uh, of an overdose before they received the proper treatment as the proceeding was uh, going through. So this program is shortens the timeline on dispute resolution cases for the injured workers with long-term opiate use due to a work injury. This is a problem that needs to be addressed proactively because literally every day matters. For too long in Massachusetts or around the country, we have seen injuries at work become a death sentence. People that don't get back. It doesn't just affect the injured worker. It's the heartache of the household. I applaud the governor and all of those who have committed themselves to try this innovative plan 